Welcome everyone, today we are taking a look at the Winko KFP 104 a churro chef knife in 10 inches with a short bolster. This is a newer design that Winko has just come out with. When I received this one, along with a KFP 84, the 8 inch version of it, well I had a pretty good idea of what to expect. I've reviewed a lot of Winko knives in the past and I've made a lot of videos on them. But I was blown away with this one. I did not expect to get something that was this well done. In this video I'm going to go over three parts. First I'm going to go over specifications and take some measurements. Second I'll do a demo on how this knife works with some common produce. And then third I'm going to go into the details of the features. So let's begin with our measurements. The overall length of the knife comes in at 15 and 1 quarter of an inch. The handle length comes in at 5 and 1 quarter of an inch. And the blade length, and I'm measuring the blade length from the tip of the blade to where the edge ends, not to the bolster. The blade length comes in at 9 and 5 eighths of an inch. The blade width from top to the edge near the bolster comes in at 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. This knife is made of X50 CR MOV5 high carbon steel. It's a stain resistant steel. It is not dishwasher safe though, so always hand wash. We have a full tank construction, as you can see from the metal looping around the handle. The handle itself is attached with your classic three rivets. And we have a short bolster. The weight of the knife, I'm not gonna do this on camera to save time, but it is 247 grams. So it is a really lightweight knife for being 10 inches. Now let's try it out with some common produce. Okay, we are starting off with a little bit of onion. Let's see how we do it here. Next up some carrots, small ones. It's a little late in the season, so not much left and a lot of it has been eaten by worms. But these are still delicious. With carrots, it's very important that they're stable in your cutting board. So we always do that first slice to just take off the side. And now it's not gonna roll around. Now let's try some leek roots. We're just gonna do them as rounds, it's quicker that way. Moving on to functionality. So the first aspect I want to talk about, balance. Balance is important because a well-balanced knife feels a lot lighter. A heavy knife that isn't well-balanced is going to tire out your hand a lot faster. This particular knife, the balancing point is right over here, right where this edge starts. So when I hold the knife in a pinch grip, it actually balances out perfectly in my hand. And it feels great. It feels so light and it just feels like a, it just feels perfect to work with. What really surprised me, the edge grind on this knife was perfect out of the box. 15 degrees on each side, that means you don't need to reprofile it. Consistency wise, this side is slightly narrower than this one, but over time as you sharpen it, it will even out, so it's not something to be concerned about. Now what I liked most about this knife, look at how thin this blade gets toward the tip. Look at that. You can do excellent detail work with this. Slicing onions is a breeze, it works perfectly. For comparison, let me show you my favorite knife here. This is the Frederick Dick in nine inches. You can see the blade thickness is very, very similar. Previous versions of Winko's 10 inch knives had a lot thicker blades toward the tip. I love that they changed it. It makes this knife so much more versatile. You'll notice the blade flexes a little more as a result of the thinner construction but not to the point where it's an issue. It still feels perfectly sturdy when you're working with it. Fin and finish wise, it's pretty good. It does need a little bit of touch up. The top of the knife, the integration points between the handle and the tang and the rivets here have a, a little bit of burrs around the edges and need a bit of sandpaper to smooth them out. It took me less than five minutes. To sum things up, if you're looking for a knife on a budget that's versatile, that you can use for anything, well, this knife, with the changes that they made to make the blade thinner here, it can use it to slice tomatoes, onions, dice carrots, like it can do all of it. I was very impressed and I highly recommend it.
I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have comments, questions, please let me know below and I will get them answered for you. Lots and lots of thanks to the folks over at Tiger Chef for sending me this knife to try out. And if you'd like to see more of my videos as they come out, please click the subscribe button below.